It's your girl, Marsha, with Talks with Marsha, and I'm back with a new video. Uh-uh. Go get your charger. You about to miss the show. I wait. Much better. And before you leave, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you can get that notification. All right. Hi, you guys. It's me again with a new video. And as you can tell by the title, it is a new nail video. I um, already prepped my nails. I took them off already. I do need to cut this one. But yeah, I'll do all of that. And then this time, I know all the other videos have been about poly gel, but this time we're doing a stiletto dip powder nails. So before we get started, I just want to make an announcement. Your girl is officially affiliated with Sutherland. Yay! <laughs> So I will be leaving the website and my promo code, which is TWMarsh12, 14, something. It's going to be in the description bar. Matter of fact, I'm going to put it right here. But yes, your girl is affiliated. So this is a poly gel kit, which I'm going to do next time but because i'm going out of town i was just gonna do one nail with the stiletto dip powder and the other nail well the other hand with the poly gel but i'm going out of town so i can't go out of town with two different hands so um we're just gonna do the dip powder and next week i am going to drop the Savaland poly gel but what did i want to say so I think what I'm going to do on my page, since my page is very versatile, um, I do have business stuff on there. I do vlog on here and I also do nails. I think Wednesdays will be my nail day and Fridays will be like whatever else day. Or let me know if you would rather nails on Friday and Wednesday could be whatever because I know Friday, everybody off of work, you chilling, watch YouTube. You might want to go ahead and watch you some nails. Let me know what you think, which day would be better for nails. But that's beside the point. I want to thank everyone who watches my video, likes my video, comments on my video. I appreciate it. I'm grateful. I just, I never thought that I would be doing stuff like this. So it's kind of, still kind of weird, but I enjoy it. So enough of me talking. Let's just get to the nails and let me know what you think when i'm done all right these are the clips that i use to remove my nails everything in this video mostly everything in this video was purchased from amazon i will leave a link down below in the description but um i did use the little tips and i ended up clipping the ends and making it more like a square coffin type of look that is the savvy land um dip powder it comes with 12 dip powders and i want to say four of them were glitter um two of them were kind of a pastel color and the rest of them were like a bright bright color so i did provide a swatch um so that you can see the colors um there was six of them that i really really like um the blue uh, the soft blue and I think there was like a soft pink. I didn't really care for I like bright colors, especially when I do my nails um, So Yeah, these are the ones that um, I liked which were the six colors that I'm gonna show at the end of the swatches um, The yellow one that's I guess is supposed to be like a matte one had a little glitter or shimmer to it So that was cool um but yeah savalan did that with the dipping powder it's cool the containers are a little small but after using them i think i may have i i would be able to use it maybe another two three more times so i did prep my nails before but you know you have to sand them down just a little bit just to make sure that you don't have any oils on the surface of your nail or it won't stick to it right so um i did get that done now my experience with the dip powder is going to be very funny because i am going to show you guys what happened 
Um, this was an actual two day process. And it was something that I wasn't used to. I guess I watched too many YouTube videos on how to use dip powder that it was, I, I guess I confused myself with too many different ways of trying to do it. And it ended up looking not too nice. But the end results after, I like them. Now, would dipping powder be my go-to? No. <laughs> it would not. So, um, I don't want to do too much talking, but then again, I may have to do some talking. But that's another thing that I did um, when putting on the tips. I don't know why I put it on both hands, knowing that I'm going to need my right hand to do my left hand. It blew my mind. And you're probably going to see me pop some off as I go. Well, I am going to pop them off, all of them off. But after I applied the tips, I did sand down the sides and the top part just so that it could have a smooth application. I did use the Beetle uh dipping system and i don't understand it smelled like crazy glue the whole thing smelled like crazy glue the base the activator and the top coat all smell like crazy glue now i've heard other youtubers complain about the top coat saying that it takes too long well not the beetle brand but just regular top coat that's not gel takes too long to dry um but this one actually dried really, 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 really fast. So this is my first try putting the dip powder on. And that is when the issue started, was from the beginning. Um, I did use the Azure white, well, clear dipping powder because um, the Savvy Land uh, dipping powder didn't come with a clear and I wanted to use a clear as like a base just to make the color kind of pop or whatever or just to build the nail first before I put the colors in because I didn't want them to be thick and what I didn't want to happen is exactly what happened I put too I put too many layers of the clear before I got to the glitter and the nail was thick okay it was horrible and then I just kept going with it. I just kept, and I don't know why I didn't stop there and just remove it off the thumb before I even went all the way through. But I just kept going with it. I just kept, kept on, kept on, kept on. And it was such an epic fail from the beginning. So I'm just going to show you guys just a little bit of what I was doing so that you can see why it was such an epic fail. And then I... I'm gonna show you guys what I did after. So, no lie, the colors came out really good. It's just when I started filing my nails and I noticed how thick the nails were and I was filing into the colors that I just applied on all of my nails. Exactly. I don't know why. So, it was so late that night that I just went to bed and I woke up early in the morning the next day and filed everything off. Even the thumb, you can still see the thumb is blue, but it didn't go with the colors. So I even eventually filed off the thumb, everything. I left the clear, but I filed down on the clear to where it's just, it was like a thin application on top of the tips and my natural nail. So I started from square one all over again. <laughs> like I don't know what possessed me <laughs> it was crazy so now that I knew what the colors were I did want an ombre look on one of my nails um so I knew how I wanted to do it and then if you notice in the beginning when I did the thumb like I was trying to build the apex but I was doing it in so many different directions because it wasn't looking right I went from left to right top to bottom it was crazy and i feel like that's why that one was like the thickest nail that i had so now i got the hang of it after my epic fail 
So I was just like, okay, I'm just going to tackle it. I watched the whole Star Wars um, series on Disney Plus while I was doing this. It was crazy. And I don't even like Star Wars. And I actually found it very entertaining. And I ended up watching the whole series on Disney Plus. But, um, yeah, so I love this color. Like, this color really against my skin tone, it really made, like, it just made it pop. Like, I love that color. Um, that's another thing. When you put that base coat and you drop that dipping powder on it and then you activate it, you can feel it on your skin. <laughs> do not do that. That is a no-no. Make sure you wipe it off because... It's not cute and it doesn't feel good either. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna let you watch. And then at the end, you will see if I decided to keep it plain or if I wanted to decorate it. But you've seen the thumbnail already, so you already know I did for the first time in my life. <sighs> I put rhinestones on my nails. I'm not really a rhinestone kind of girl, but I kind of like it. But yes, stay, just don't leave. Don't, don't leave. Just continue watching my struggles with dipping powder.
Alrighty, so for the thumb and the pinky, I mixed two of the glitter dip powders because one of them had like a purple iridescent look. Well, not really a purple, but like a orange goldish iridescent look and the other one was kind of purplish. So after filing and filing, rotating between my hand file and my e-file, I got close to the shape that I wanted and the density that I wanted my nails to be. Um, it was a journey and I squeezed a three hour video down to 18 minutes. I think that's impressive, okay? Um, I started to record uh, me putting on my design and my camera wasn't on, so that's why this hand is halfway done. Um, I did put um, some rhinestones on one finger. I also had the Savvy Land, uh, the Savvy Land's Chrome Powder. Um, and I, I did like a whole little presentation so y'all can see all the colors and my camera wasn't recording. So you guys will see it again in another video. I also put the butterflies on my index fingers. Um, I don't know if I did something wrong, but after I put the top coat on it, the butterfly kind of, in certain areas, kind of turned white. So I don't know if it was the gel, um, the gel top coat um, that I used that made it do that. But if you've ever experienced that, please comment in the comment section and let me know. But I love that I put the chrome, the chrome kind of, gave the glitter like a iridescent goldish purplish pinkish look so like you see a little bit of orange in it so I really really I like that I went that route um I didn't need to use the gel um the clear gel for the rhinestones because the top coat that came with the beetle dip powder it, it smelled like crazy glue and the rhinestone stuck on it like crazy glue. So that's what I was using. It wasn't in the frame of the camera. It was sitting on top of the shelf that's in front of my desk. So I would just dip um, my wax pencil into it and dip it on my nails and put the rhinestone on top. And it just stuck on it like crazy glue. And then I put a top coat of the gel, um, the gel top coat and hit it with the UV light. That is the only reason why there is a UV light involved in this dip powder um, is because I did use a gel top coat because I want to make sure my rhinestones didn't come out while I was on my trip. But besides that, using the dip powder, you don't need any type of UV light. Uh, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty simple. I will most likely use the dip powder once again. I just won't do the nails so long, but... I like the way it looked like it's cute this is my first time doing it I'm proud of myself that I did it and I hope you guys enjoyed it too